Ouais. Come on. No, oh, keep me rolling, man. What's up, man? This is a, a very old Gibson. It's nice to be doing some uh, vintage guitars today. This is a 1955 Gibson Les Paul TV Jr. Now, you'll notice you're like, man, that's not TV. But yes, it is. This was the natural. This is a very rare light wash natural finish. And it's... <laughs> so TV Juniors usually have that that uh, all yellowy kind of light washed, uh, I mean, usually like a lime oak finish. And the reason they did that back then is because when there was a white guitar on black and white TV, it blew up the screen. It's like, turn that guitar off, but you can't turn it off. So they said, okay, no more white guitars. We got to do like an off white guitar. So that's when that, that's, that, that's why they call it TV, TV yellow, TV junior. So this is a natural uh, finish and it's very unique. 7.10 pounds. What does 7.10 pounds mean? I think you mean seven pounds, 10 ounces. Because 0.10 is one. Let's take that back. It's not eight pounds. It's 7.1. Okay, so it's 7.1 pounds. Uh, very rare. I had a stupid moment there for a second. <laughs> that guy's stupid. Okay, let's tune it one more time. I am right now plugged into a silver tone. A silver tone, an old Sears silver tone, and it sounds pretty cool. I mean, you could use it to rock out, you could add some overdrive to even rock out more, or you can use it for all kinds of different things, and I'll show you in a second. Wow, what's happening, boys? I'm talking to the strings, because there's six of them. <laughs> rock candy but I don't want to do rock candy because if I'm going to go to that Montrose record I'm going to do Bad Motor Scooter now I did Bad Motor Scooter one time before and somebody said it's bar chords man I like open chords I can do what I want I'm Phil X <laughs> I don't mean it like that I mean like I can do what I want because I'm here and you're not and that's what I meant let's try this one section that happens there and man that was fun 
That was like giving it, giving her, give her, give it. Yeah, whatever. Okay, cool. So I want to also wait. Let's see, to do this. I'm just gonna make it clean by just turning it down. And check this out. Add a little bit of this and. Reminds me of Van Halen. But first, see, listen to the reverb. It's all Jack White. Because he uses silver tone. Did you know that he uses silver tone? He uses a, a big more fuzz. I got one around here, anyways, but it's not about the amps and pedals, it's about the guitar. Okay, I hate that reverb. <laughs> I don't hate it, man. I love it. That was like, uh, let's go to the Marshall. I need some background singers. Ooh, we better love that thing. Like Van Halen from two, man. I need like Michael Anthony and Eddie Van Halen come in here and sing some backgrounds. And then actually, Eddie Van Halen could pick up the guitar and play and I could go have a sandwich. <laughs> right on! Okay, let's tune this thing one more time. Yeah, okay, so I met uh, Michael Anthony over at, uh, he's, a, he's a Yamaha player and I play Yamaha. And I, I don't mean a name drop, it's Dustin, man. He's egging me on, egging me on. Drop some names. He wants to use his sound effects. <laughs> Here, I got some sound effects. <laughs> okay, so, uh, uh, you know, there's a whole bunch of us that use Yamaha stuff, and we're, like, all signing autographs, and there's people walking through, and it, it took a really long time, but it's kind of cool. And anyway, so I'm talking to Michael Anthony, and I go, hey, man. And I, at first, I thought I put my foot in my mouth because I'm thinking, oh, man, that, that was a bad opening line. So I said... I'm like, hey, uh, so I, I played, I got to play Shy Boy with Billy Sheen on bass, and tonight I'm playing, because it was in January, tonight I'm playing a Nazi song with uh, Rudy Sarzo on bass, and now I just need to play a Van Halen song with you on bass, and my life is complete. And he goes, oh man, make it happen. I'm like, what? Oh, cool. He goes, I don't know how I'm gonna make it happen, but I'll make it happen. <laughs> um, yeah, he goes, make it happen. And he goes, man, I'll, Let's do I'm the one. I'll even sing it. I used to at Soundcheck. <laughs> I'm like, that's cool. He doesn't sound like this. Anytime I talk like anybody, I sound like this. They don't sound like this. I sound like this doing an impression, a bad impression of them doing it. But let's do Leslie West use a guitar just like this. And it kind of like, uh, wait. Uh, I need a cowbell. I need a can. I need something. Hey, all right. Here's my cowbell right here. Uh, now I just need four, four hands so I could do this. That's kind of, well, you know, actually, Coca-Cola can't can sound better. What? Hold it at the bottom. It's too high. Wait. Uh. Oh, here come the drums. Blah, uh, blah. Yeah. 
Sorry, I'm just... Uh, 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 uh. Man, I'm like a... I got all these wires hooked up to me and shit. It's kind of hard to do anything. But I'm rocking. Okay, hey, so check it out. Uh, awesome guitar. Sounds great. That's the Marshall again, man. And I just turned down and there's my clean sound. Just remember, you don't need 400 pedals to have a million sounds on a guitar. You can do it all with your hands. And the volume knob. And, and, uh, and a good amp <laughs> that doesn't have 400 presets. Face.